Welcome to Duga, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here we are taking off another one of Tunisia's World Heritage Sites. Let's go and explore Duga. So it's about 4 p.m. I spoke to the guy at the ticket desk. He said, I'm the first person to arrive today and it shuts at six. So I can't imagine they're gonna have many tourists showing up in the last two hours. This must have been for a very important person. Look at the size of it. We're starting our tour of Duga at a non-Roman site. So this is the Libico Punic Mausoleum. This is from the second century BC. So this is actually built before the Romans arrived. You see it survived quite well. Although actually it got dismantled in 1842 by the British consul who wanted to take a piece of engraving out of it um, so that they could translate the local language. I think that's still on display at the British Museum. But I think people managed to put it back together and it's in incredible shape considering that's thousands of years old. I think this sits at the very south of the site so we have to walk back up the hill now to go and check out the Roman sections. Heading north now up towards the House of the Gorgon. This is the Arch of Septimius Severus. Not much arch left. We've made it to the theatre. This was built in the second century CE and it still hosts live music events today. So you can come and check out the Duga Festival. I think that happens every summer. What a view. This place was built in 168 CE by Publius someone. Ugh, I better check. Publius Marcius Quad... Publius Marcius Quadratus. And must have been very wealthy, because not only is it huge, but it lasted over 2,000 years. Well done to the Roman construction team. Next up we have the Temple of Saturn, a favourite amongst the local bird life. It's amazing they've got so many engravings, they've just lined them all up on the ground. So scrap what I said earlier, this is actually the capital. Uh, I already got myself lost, that's how big this site is. But look at that. It's a bit weird because it has, this is from the second century CE, but then the Byzantines built a load of wall around it. Very impressive columns there. And apparently some of the statues from in there are now on display in the Bardo Museum in Tunis. There's the marketplace, complete with smoking Tunisian man. A bit of atmosphere. Possibly the Lycinian Baths. Not sure at this stage. There's the mausoleum where I started my journey. Now let's start wandering down the hill. And where are we going to come out? visit to Duga is now at an end, partly because it's almost six o'clock and they're about to kick me out, and partly because I think it's gonna rain. But what an amazing sight. Eight dinars to come in, or five dinars if you're resident, which is very little for a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And no crowds. <laughs> it's very, very close to Tunis, so I'd highly recommend coming to visit if you come and visit Tunisia.